Have you ever wondered how I can make a demon voice out of any voice line for anyone? Well, I'm Audio Dread, giving the answers no one wants to the questions no one has since 2020. And today I'm going to be running you guys through a tutorial in Audacity of how you can turn any voice clip from anyone into a demon effect. And what's really amazing about this method that is not common in sound design at all is that you can take pretty much anyone's voice and apply these same steps to it and you will get shockingly similar results. You won't have to tweak the settings all that much and I'm going to run you through uh, four voice clips because that's just my standard and also because I want to show you a few different types of settings that you can put onto it. So without further ado, I'm going to use my own voice and I am going to be using my Zoom H1N to record it. It's not the ideal voiceover microphone, but it'll get the job done. I have a pretty good resonance to my voice. I've got a pretty good uh, range and it's pretty deep and bassy, so it works really well for demon effects. That being said, you can use any voice clip from anyone. You can record your own. It doesn't have to be with a high-end microphone. You can do this on your phone. You'll just have to do a little more EQ with it and stuff. I'm doing the highest quality that I can do because I want to give a good demonstration, but if you only have access to something lower quality, first of all, free sound exists and you can find public domain voice clips there. And second of all, even if all you have is a phone microphone, you can still apply these steps and you'll still get a pretty good result. So without further ado, I'm just going to record some demon-esque voice lines. Welcome to hell. I can smell your evil. This is my domain. Little baby gobble goobers. Okay, so as I'm editing this right now, I made the uh, discovery that for whatever reason, OBS had some clipping when I recorded the edit. I don't know why, so I just want to give you the heads up when I play the previews of the edited clips as they're being edited. There's, for whatever reason, some clipping. Uh, there was no clipping in Audacity and there was no clipping on OBS, so I don't know why it's there, but stick around till the end and you will see the finished product, uh, all of four in rapid succession with no clipping because they came out perfectly clean just for whatever reason in the preview in the recording of the preview there's a bunch of clipping so don't mind that they didn't turn out sounding like garbage it doesn't sound that bad but uh just stick around till the end and you'll see what it actually turned out like all right so i have my voice lines pulled into audacity and as you can see welcome to hell there's just a little bit of room noise and some background noise so i'm just going to highlight that uh, some just silence in the beginning. You always want to record a little bit of silence. Go to noise reduction, get noise profile, control A and control R, and that will just apply the noise reduction to everything and just kind of pull the, uh, Welcome the to background hell. noise out. And as you can see, I that's can a lot cleaner, your but I want to make this as high quality as possible. So I'm just going to put a low pass filter on that and you want to find the best settings for you for my voice 7000 hertz and six decibels are the best settings to get welcome just to my vocal range i can smell and as your you can evil see, that's sounding really clean now but i just want to make it as high quality as i can so i'm just going to go to filter curve and do a low roll off it has a audacity has a built-in factory preset for low roll off for speech the the male vocal range starts at around 100 hertz so i'm just going to roll off to hell. low 100 hertz just to I make can sure smell that my evil. vocal range is the only thing in there so as you can see that's coming out really clean now so i'm just going to highlight it control x and control v put it into a new track and that's the fastest way that i have found to separate audio so i'm just going to do that with all of them and as you Welcome can see, we've hell. got that all separated out. And so now with all of these, Paul stretch is the most important thing. And you want a stretch factor of three and a time resolution of 0 0.01 seconds. And that's Welcome what gives it that graveliness. But as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, artifacting in the higher end. So we're going to do another low pass filter, but we're going to do it at a thousand hertz because we really want to only get that low end. And you'll see why in a second. Whoa. Welcome so that gets that really deep resonance in there. Gonna normalize that out and then we're actually going to slow it down, which I found works better than pitch shifting. It's just a little more dynamic. So as you can see, this is 
a little too slowed down. You can't really understand what I'm saying, which isn't the goal of this particular clip. So we're just going to change that to negative 35. And there you go, that sounds much better. So now what we're going to do is the reverb. So you can really mess with the settings of the reverb. I'm gonna do a few different examples here. So we're just gonna reverse it and generate some silence at the end. And then for this, I want a little more dry. And for those of you who don't know, dry reverb is basically just delaying it's essentially echo, whereas wet reverb adds a little bit of uh, artificial resonance to it. So I'm going to set the reverberance to 40, and I'm going to leave the tone low and tone high the, at 100, but I'm going to change the room size to 30. I want it to sound like he's right up next to you. And I'm going to set the wet gain to, let's go with negative 1. And the dry gain, we want it to be pretty low too. We'll go 6 on that. So I'm just going to apply that. And then after every reverb, you always have to normalize because it will cause clipping otherwise. I'm just gonna trim off the end. I always put more silence than I need to just because it's better too much than not enough. Now I'm just going to reverse that again. And as you can see, the reverb did not do much. It just makes it a little bit cleaner more than anything, which is what we want. We want it to just sound like he's right up next to you. So for the regular reverb, I'm going to do a dry gain of 10, and I'm going to turn the reverb rinse down to 30 and the room size up to 50, leave everything else the same, normalize that out. There you go. So now it's just kind of more localized and pretty dry and clean. So what we're going to do for this one is the same Paul stretch. Uh, it's going to be the same Paul stretch for all of them. This has worked on every I vocal line that I've seen. I can smell your evil. So with this, we're going to do the same uh, low pass filter. Normalize that out. I can smell your evil. As you can see, that sounds very nice. And now we're just gonna change speed. And I don't like that as much at a negative 35, so we're actually gonna change that to negative 50, which is usually where I start. It's just got that really nice guttural gravel in there. And I'm just going to actually pitch shift this up by about five because I like the tempo where it is. But it just needs to be a little higher to be a bit easier to hear. And as you can see, that's coming out really nice. So and now I'm just going to trim this down a little bit just to make sure there's not any uh, weird little bits of sound in the in the zero lines there. Gonna generate some silence at the end and add some more reverse reverb, but we're gonna do a little different this time. We still don't want it to sound too ambient, but we want it to sound a bit more ethereal. So I'm gonna set the room size to 80, the reverberance to 70, the wet cane to three, and leave the dry gain at 10. And same thing, trim it off at the zero line, reverse it back again. And that just makes it sound a little more disembodied. It still sounds like there's actually something talking, but it sounds like it's less physical. So now uh, I tend to make the forward reverb a little uh, less intense, but we're gonna go ahead and make the room size 100 and we're just gonna turn the dry gain down to 8 and the wet gain down to 1 and then the river rinse down to 40. Normalize that out. And that's sounding really nice. This is my domain. All right, so now for this one, same pulse stretch. 
This is my domain. And that's coming out really nice with that. I'm going to change the frequency to 4000 for the low pass filter because I didn't get as much of that uh, higher. This is my domain. And that sounds really nice with that. So this one, uh, same thing. Change speed, I'm gonna start with 50. It's got some really nice depth to it, so we're just gonna reverse that and do some more reverb, but we're gonna go a little more disembodied on the reverb this time. So we're gonna make it sound a bit more like it's just a voice coming from nowhere in particular. So we're gonna turn the reverberance all the way up to 80, and the main thing that's gonna be different here is the wet gain, which is going to be at eight. The dry gain, I'm gonna to switch to 10. Still not quite an everything reverb, as I like to call it, but uh, quite a bit more intense than what we've done so far. So I'm just gonna reverse that back. And generate some more silence in front. And then, like before, the reverb, forward reverb is going to be a little less intense. So I'm going to change the wet gain. I'm actually going to crank the wet gain up, but I'm going to turn the reverberance down to 50. Put off at the zero line. So as you can see, that sounds a bit more disembodied and ethereal. Little baby gobble goobers. So now for the last one, and the reason I record this beyond it just being kind of a funny joke is I want to show when the lion itself has nothing to do with what a demon might be saying, what you can do Little to Little baby still make it gobble creepy. goobers. So same Paul stretch, of course. But that is how you make it creepy. Just turn it backwards. No one's going to know what you're saying. So we're going to do uh, 1000 on the low pass filter again. Normalize that out. And now. It sounds just as creepy as if it were a creepy line. So. We're going to slow that down by 50. And that's actually a little too deep, so we're going to change that. 35 worked with, uh, well with the other one, so... There you go, and now it just sounds like I'm speaking in tongues. So we're going to bring this forward again because now the regular reverb is going to become the reverse reverb when we reverse the track. And we're going to bring the reverberance all the way up to 90. We want this to sound full, just disembodied. Gonna leave everything else the same. Uh, we're gonna normalize that out. Trim it at the zero line once again. And then we're going to reverse it back. So as you can see, that's almost coming out like an ambience. So now we're going to generate more silence. This direction, add some regular reverb, even though it's technically reverse reverb. And we're going to change the reverberance to 40. That's the only thing we're going to change. Leave everything else at what I would call an everything reverb. And I'm just going to trim this down to where you actually start hearing it. And there you go. Alright, so there's how you can make a demon effect 
out of any voice line. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial, about sound design in general, especially when it concerns Audacity, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I've got links in the description to my Twitter. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this educational. And here are the finished products for your listening enjoyment. I've been Audio Dread, and I hope to see you in the next video.